Hey, welcome back to another video. I just want to show you this real quick before I go in. Um, they put this here on the shopping cart just so that uh, people are not going to steal it, essentially. And there's like this bar in uh, the gateway as well, like when you're walking out of the store, so that it like blocks the top of the rod there from hitting. And uh, people won't steal the cart walking out of the store. But the problem is you can't even take your cart outside into your car. So really weird the way I did that. Anyways, I'm getting some interesting stuff here and I'll show you what I got after. Okay, so we're out, and uh, just as I suspected from a lot of the negative reviews online, the guard is really suspicious. They stand there talking in with someone, earpiece, and uh, yeah, not, not the most friendly at all. And uh, the people are like, oh, come on, they gotta go, go, it's closing. So yeah, people in first world countries I saw really, really, or like more first world country areas, the way they act, like you're peeing south of Brazil more. People really want you out, like like maybe like Hill Grunge is so like the, the lowest state down there in Brazil. So yeah, uh, kind of more assholes, uh, more places you go. They're f like these types of countries in general. From what I saw, got a lot of stuff. I just used the discounts there. It's like confusing the way they had all that set up, and uh, it wasn't showing another one that was supposed to be on there, but it was like on a screen. I don't know if I got the discount. Showed on the screen, doesn't show on the receipt. So no idea, honestly, with that. Anyways, I'll show you more. Uh, once I get home, 57 pounds would be like 68, 70 dollars almost, I think. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see you back. Okay, so I was looking on receipt again. Yes, yeah, so looks like they did kind of cock us on something. At least one thing I was saying the pizza is supposed to be 350 pounds instead of like uh, 450. So, yeah, there's a reason why that store is like 4, 4.1. Uh, people are really trash, like I guess, on the reviews. So, it's got a lot of good products, one more updated stores, I wonder where, it, it's called Iceland, the store is called Iceland, I wonder if it's from Iceland or if someone just called it that from here. We're looking at pesting as well, and people don't do this with their pets almost anywhere else from what we saw, it's constantly here, but it's like measuring grams of their food and uh, like treating them like humans constantly so, so, so much, it's like the way they treat them here. And some people do that in American other countries, but like to the point where it's constantly here and control like complete schedules and everything. It's it's like absurd. Uh, I never saw this in the U.S. as much. Right? It's like in the U.S. more so like, yeah, walk them when you walk them. Uh, do it some time of the day, you know, feed them some food. Like Americans are at least more like this uh, from what I saw and what I grew up with as well. And uh, I saw the U.K. is like the main one like this. And I think Americans don't have as much time doing this always because they're focused more on working all the time, progression, and people who are not doing that. Um, and spending time so much on things like this are not going to progress their country as much from what we were speaking about and seeing. It explains a lot like why the UK also is more of a second world country because it's crazy, but Poland actually was the best for stores and updating prices in media already online when it detected something wasn't there or in stock. It told you before you even made the purchase. As our uh, error is not here and updated their stock and everything was fixed. It's absurd how updated their systems are, like actually. And uh, there's a lot of issues in that country, but a couple of things are definitely way better than the UK. And I see how it's gonna also pass here, especially if they're doing something illegal, definitely with like uh, pulling money from the US, or other things. And uh, I see how it's gonna pass the UK. It is more beautiful there as well <laughs> than here, definitely. Unless you're kind of driving on the roads so or some cool areas, but still, Rio and Brazil was way more beautiful yeah i think uh the uk really has some some work to do with things and i'm not a fan of like england so i saw wales interesting so far when i'm talking about things i'm just talking about england more so i'm gonna see how scotland and wales and uh, northern southern ireland are so uh, when i'm speaking about it's just england so far i kind of go ahead and see how that is anyways we're about to walk the dogs and go show you some bits and pieces of uh, taking them out and all that so Oh, that store is just a cocksucker, horrible people. I cannot wait till AI comes and takes their jobs, truly. This is why I want AI. Like, people are completely incompetent. Okay, so I'm here with uh, Moosh right now. Hey, Moosh. And Indy. Indy, come here. Come on, Indy. So there's Indy. Hey, Indy. Indy, come here. Indy, look. Hi. Say hi, Indy. Hi. Hello. And uh, Moosh, hello. Which is uh, a little calmer. But yeah, uh, we're just kind of out here in the general park area. This phone sucks for focusing <laughs> in this way, but yeah, it's quite uh, 
quite nice here. Can't record much time like this because the phone always overheats. It's like a skating area over there. Again, it can't focus. Because all oh, it starts recording for like 10 to 20 seconds or more and it starts completely losing more focus. Crazy. Probably a little bit easier. The kind that show how things are here. Um, yeah, it's, it's a interesting basic park. Some places to skate like I showed there. That's way better now with focus and everything. Come on, Indy. Come on. Indy, come on. Let's go. Moosh. Indy, come on. Moosh. I can't see. Really. Moosh. <laughs> Moosh does not want to move. Okay, so I'll probably see you back home, I guess, in a little bit here. Um, vlogging and uh, passing at the same time. Wonderful. <laughs> Double job. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do, so to repair the computer, but uh, yeah, very beautiful in the background there. Look at that. Very beautiful. Front camera is definitely not damaged as much as the back or whatever's wrong with this. So I will see you home. All right, so I'm back now, and it's been uh, fun just taking care of some stuff, cleaning up a few things, and uh, yeah, everything's all down here. I got projector actually fixed here. Moved it up much closer. It was back over here. But I took and moved everything up front over here to have a much better, a better screen. And now it looks like a real TV, like I'm actually playing something. Let's see if I can show you here. That looks pretty decent. The phone's not like picking up super well. Yeah, look, it looks like a freaking just TV. Actually, I'm like. It's better than some TVs actually, <laughs> just the projector. So I'm that closer to the right exact amount. I was seeing the pixels because I was thinking, well, there's not enough pixels on the wall. So that means they're spread out over too far an area. The farther away you, you go, the bigger picture it gets, which means the pixels have to spread out. So let's move it closer and I should adjust in the right area. And I found the correct spot then. Yeah, it works great. So let's have a cord I have to watch out for, but I can go around it pretty easily to where I put it. So uh, other than that, the people here haven't messaged me back after uh, I was talking to him earlier, but uh, getting along with the dogs better. So we were in the park, and and she was uh, just out uh, walking over in an area there and saw a homeless person. I don't know if it was a guy or a girl, but uh, I think they had a phone. And uh, surprisingly, uh, it's it's crazy because we we're talking to each other about them. Uh, she looked at uh, the homeless person. Actually, looked at her, and was like. Just like, you know, your money looked at me because uh, apparently I look rich, I guess, the way I act and speak and uh, hold myself while I'm wearing in general. I have everything American on me and uh, it's not the worst quality. So, like, they sent a brand shirt and everything, for example. So, like, because of that, just the way they looked and, like, oh, you probably have everything. Like, no, we don't have everything. And the thing is, we're talking to each other and we realized we would be just like that person, homeless, if we weren't damn smart and actually applied ourselves and found a way to do something, like found a way. Because having a brother help me is absolutely very important, but beyond that, I would be homeless probably right now or just in, about to be homeless in massive further debt on credit cards. I can no place to go, over 100 pounds a day easily in places here. And now I don't have to pay for rent. It actually like really, really helps. Don't have to be homeless. It's crazy, and if you know, if if you truly are smart enough, you will find a way to go do something. And most people just aren't blessed with that when they're born. So it's unfortunate, and you're gonna get screwed in life for that. It's it's the way things are. So something I wanted to point out, kind of just talk about, I guess. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna relax here a little bit, see about getting a piece done for the laptop, maybe. I have to call people on Monday for that, so I might just look at some stuff for the business and watch something, get some food here. And I've called pizzas won't fit in the freezer, so I gotta go ahead and uh, prepare those tonight and eat them, so... Yeah. I guess I'll probably see you, maybe not even tomorrow, just in some days from now, whenever something else happens again. Depends. Uh, could be tonight, could be in a few days or longer, so... Could be when I'm almost leaving here even. Um, it depends. Sure, I'm probably forgetting some stuff, but ah, that's about it for now. So, oh, it's fun taking care of some hot dogs. Oh yeah, the the dog almost like went and bit the person. It was like a guy running, and uh, I was running, and had them on the leash, and it was like the type of goes farther away if you don't lock it, and the dog went up to, around uh, towards the guy, and uh, <laughs> so like. I actually tried to buy him for a quick second and get like, woo, 
like that literally made the funniest noise and ran off. <laughs> it was, I'm sorry, it was the way he made that noise was like comedical as hell. So thankfully she, he didn't get um, bit at all by a dog. I don't know if the dog was actually going to do that or just kind of like would take a few more seconds probably maybe. But uh, that was uh, crazy. I was something else I was going to say. Can we call? Ah. Oh. Earlier, I was gonna say about it. Hey. Yeah. The dog almost escaped. <laughs> almost what? Escaped today. Oh yeah, dog almost escaped. So, um, had to put it back on the leash there, um, the harness actually, and uh, it was in the park thankfully. So, and the dog sees any type of animal, like the black one, they're indie, and it's horrible, just like freaking wanting to kill a like, cat, anything like that. So, I don't know, I'll see you in, in a bit of time here. Just maybe I'll get a break to relax, go do something. So, yeah, they have the pit bulls free. We went over to our dogs here, and you start freaking out, picking up the dog, and uh, the people just came over here and like, oh, is your not dog not friendly? Because you were freaking out a bit and uh, just worrying a bunch. And uh, we're like, no, no, they're, uh, you know, they're a bit feisty, you know, small dogs. And uh, just like the way they were acting, like, like, look, like, what's your problem, basically, more so, like, their faces. I really feel like ever since the south of Brazil, oh, we've just been there ever since we went to Europe, UK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just perfect definition, like, it's even worse because here they feel like gods because they, they have a lot of things here. A lot of money, a lot of crap. And the way they act, the way they just do things, it's yeah. just like... In Brazil, it's more like, I'm a cop sucker, but I don't have any power, so like, okay, goodbye. It yeah. does feel like that, but the south of Brazil is still like... Yeah. People find a way to be even more toxic somehow. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I have to say. And there have been some interesting people here in some ways, but more so I feel like... They're insane about their pets as well. Like having to send a picture every damn day to the owners, worrying about taking pictures and stuff. Like, do you not trust me? Do you not think I'm competent in like taking care of your pet? Because I saw in America, this is not an issue. And I, I hate to be like supporting this country because it's constantly freaking me. And I hate the government so much in the US. And the people are a lot of like horrific assholes there and, and crap. But I. Looks like it's better in a lot of ways still, somehow. In Liverpool, they're more like nice right off and then fake. So fake people in here is like straight off more like assholes to your face. So Bristol. I feel like a lot of YouTubers online who are from the UK also like act really fake. We were talking about that. Oh, and Americans fake. Americans <laughs> act like uh, more straight right off in a lot of ways. But still, there's a lot of fake American YouTubers. But still, like, I feel like there's more likely to be... Uh, more like real acting people from what I saw from the US than the UK. Just like how people are here feels like like too many, too many people like because the way they, they treat animals, they expect everything like no, Again, not... we looked at this crap, this pesting crap in America versus here on the same site. Americans completely chill out, no problem. And here it's just like, oh do this, do this, do this exact time. I like to go out to the garden this time, they have their tea time at this and no, like literally I freaking can like show you damn definitions but <sighs> Older, you said like, am I obligated to give you the exact time? And she was like, ah, oh, thank you for the time back to me, Justin. And yeah, I, I I don't I don't remember exactly, but like, I have I have some recollection. Uh, there's been a lot of people that just like, no, like we do it on this specific schedule. If you don't like get the hell out of here, basically, and I hey, don't see stuff in the U.S. the same way. Uh, it's absurd, like, completely absurd. And people won't give you their cars while they're away. Like, they, like oh, you're lucky I, ch I chose you. Like, literally, a lot of them be like, oh, you're lucky I chose you. And you were in my house. Bro, you need someone to take care of your pet anyways. And your house is going to be empty no matter what while you're away. So, I'm doing you a favor. And you're just being an asshole to me. That's, that's like, the problem I'm having with too many people on here, definitely. Uh, I'm doing you a favor because normally you have to pay people like me to come into your home and take care of your pet. Like, especially treating them really kindly, uh, holding them, snogging with them, uh, giving all kinds of affection, taking care of them very well, like, you have to pay people, and still, people probably won't do that, and maybe even can abuse your pets, you have to be careful who the hell you're hiring, so, really, really important to be careful with, with these things, but they still treat us worse, because, I guess, when you don't get paid for stuff, 
people acted to you worse. The more of a cocksucker you are, the nicer people react to you. I always saw that. Same with Anita as well, with people mm -hmm. saying, oh, look, she, oh, she's how she is, you know, like people literally supporting her for being a cocksucker, like, like bragging about it. I was shocked about that. Oh, be careful, gonna be banned. Are you? Oh, remember that guy that got banned because he literally people asked him, like, uh, oh, what does American think about Brazil? Oh, oh, no, 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 I don't give a damn. Like, like she can ban me all she wants. It I don't freaking care. was her friends, by the way. It was her, her uh, friends, her talk. Oh, the entire account taken down? Yeah. Oh, like, I don't give a damn. Like I said, if my account tries to get taken down on YouTube, I'm just going to start a damn new platform. And, like, th I got plenty more issues to have, like, for worries for my account being taken down. I'm I just want to uh, mention that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really toxic fan base from her. Really toxic fan base, completely. So, I just know how toxic most people are, so I'm ready for it, whatever. By the way, um... I need a fans. I'm Brazilian, okay? So if you're like uh, trying to like, uh, like pull shit and comments like, oh, he's just saying that because he's American. Like, <laughs> uh, vice for the day, okay? Like, uh, <laughs> Shoot for me a pound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like vagabundas. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just like speaking Portuguese like assholes. Like, like no, if you speak Portuguese and understand, and your nice person is not for you. It's just for the assholes, okay? Just, just the assholes. Whoever it is. Anyways. Uh, yeah, that's, just, that's about it. Uh, emotion, I do. Yeah, um, I imagine uh, there's a chance, especially with how, how like Hitler YouTube's getting all the time more and more. And all these companies and corporations, uh, everything's switching from capitalism to corporatism. And with technology moving in more, uh, like supporting that and uh, just jump-starting it more and more. I imagine I'll have to end up creating a new website for these things and uh, to be able to actually speak the truth and what things are like because there's someone trying to talk about uh, assaults of like uh, intimate assaults and such. You know, I'm not gonna say the word because uh, YouTube doesn't like it. And uh, about them escaping the Korea and such and uh, YouTube took their crap down for it. Like, <laughs> really? YouTube, you really do that, right? Like you mess with people like me, people actually give a damn about crap. We're gonna go and frick up what you're doing. Like we're gonna go start a proper platform. We're actually gonna go do things. Very important to have people actually caring about what's going on and supporting each other and spreading the truth of what's going on. And it's better to die free than to live a slave any day. So I wasn't gonna do this, but um, I guess she had something to say, so what, what is it you wanted to say? I wanted to say that I was remembering about something because we are having like a different experience after like we go more into a hashtag first world country is like what they call the UK but so far it's not as compared to America I saw anywhere you go it does not matter like where you go can be Arabic country, America, Brazil, any any area. There's all countries to first world countries and I realized that because my mom used to always speak to me uh, something that guys normally have testosterone mm -hmm. and uh, they're normally always like full of energy more like a, oh angry always and the only people they can like a uh, soft to uh, like tame them like grab tame. them by the balls yeah. like piss off like fix your attitude like yeah it's a uh, moms and wives and uh, I realized that but it won't always work all the ways so I was just realizing that based on our experience mm -hmm. and. Uh, in my country, and I know the plug is another third world countries just like mine, <clears throat> because I saw third world countries guys are really more like playboys, and they just like, you know, like even a leave me wife, I just fuck you, I don't care, like that's a third world country guys, that's so why like the girls are even sometimes more so like because the guys don't wanna like just have anything in general, yeah. even like you're a good person, you know. So the one they care the most. It's their moms. So care about the most. Yeah. So third world countries is their moms. Their moms are the ones like gonna like hey doing something wrong here. And the first world countries like well like 
my mom is cool, nice, I love her, but she's gonna die, you know, it's time for me to make my life, I have my wife, my kids, mm -hmm. and uh, they always known for like, the wife will always be like, <laughs> Taking care of things, you know? Leading the guy, grabbing him by the balls. I'm starting to see now more why women are always grabbing men by the balls in first world countries and controlling them and leading so much. I think guys have a lot of issues here. Like the place we're in now. His wife is being better and everything, but he is like having her work and do stuff while she's pregnant, bang down. We were just in shock over here. Like, why are you doing stuff? I saw this common first world countries. You should not be working, doing anything while you're pregnant. You don't know if that's gonna affect the baby or have any issues and even if doctors say it's okay, doctors don't know everything and we're learning new things all the time. I just would not push that and do very, very little and be easier. I asked him about how old he was as well and then when I told him, uh, he was like, I said, oh, okay, cool. And I said, well, I'm this and she's this. And like after I said, I'm this, at this age, he was like, oh. And then I said her age and he was like, oh. Like, I, because we're younger than him, I think he was like, really, this was in a car ride here actually. And he's like, not nah, happy ever since then, I feel like in a lot of ways. He probably wanted to pick us up from the proper area, saying, oh, I have to spend a little more money coming to your area because like, they put a tax on like, um, like carbon emitting vehicle and uh, barely went to come and get us properly and won't take us back. We'll have to pay for our own way back. <sighs> and then like, basically with no food or anything, just like really basic crap here and nah, not the best. His wife is... The one actually replying to me, he's still not, even though it's like him is supposed to be playing. And I'm just seeing that. Uh, yeah, because it was in his account, right? Yeah, guys are having a lot of issues in first world countries too. I saw. It really depends on the country you go to, because I think it. I think it. It depends, because there's a lot of assholes everywhere, but there's like a higher percentage of, of one gender or the other in each country we go to, from my experience. I think in, in America, it was more issue with girls. And here's more of an issue with guys. It's looking like in Poland. I, hell, I had a really bad experience with guys and girls in my own way. Like the guy like really being sketchy with me and the guard all the time. Mm. It's a guard issue in general though. Guards. But that girl just like randomly went up and hit me walking by as well. Like, mm. So it really depends on the country. Mm. But here, like guys are being assholes. Like yeah, yeah. in Brazil I, as well, there was like a difference where guys were bad in one area. Girls were bad in another area. But here, like, really, like, guys are pissing me off a lot. Like, it's bloody a, hell, dude. It's a difficult to say about the whole country because they're not from here, so... Oh, yeah, 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 it's right, it's right. He's from New Zealand. But they are, like, adjusting here anyways. I saw that I had, like, a lot of issues with guys here as well. Yeah. Like, like a bunch of, like, our, uh, Africans walking through in Liverpool. It's, like, making fun of us for, like, being... Oh. Like, like, a mask or anything, like... Like... Like it really pissed to me touch off. Me, you know? Yeah, trying to uh, and people trying to touch you as well. Mm. Like people of like darker color would always cause more issues trying to touch her as well. So it's just been hell constantly. Older people as well, white older people would be like having more issues trying to touch you and just ah, uh, this is a nightmare all the time. And uh, I just uh, wanted to go ahead and add all this because it's not just women causing issues. That's not what I want my vlogs to be about. I want to make it clear. That uh, wherever I go, I'm gonna speak about how things actually are. And here for me, I think uh, men have been more of a issue for me. Maybe in Australia, I don't know, could be uh, an issue more with men as well. And uh, maybe New Zealand especially. But I haven't traveled there. I can't say anything. If I do travel there, I will start speaking about how things are. So. So guys, fix your balls and girls, fix your damn tits, okay? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, uh sucks as you know it's fun because i just know youtube's gonna want to take down my crap like i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to post all these videos i'm working so hard on to edit and do it and make all by myself just like show people how things are traveling yeah. and show them the real side of things but uh as with people it's just like why not <laughs> all right god like hate on you and even people will be trying to kill you for saying something it's not gonna be even safe for me yeah. to walk on a stage in the future probably because someone's gonna be so like Fricked up in the head that they want to go and, like try to kill like someone like me over things like people have issues in this world like right? truly truly they do. Just want to say that hopefully when I you post this video like we have some people editing for you. Obviously it's good to cut some parts you know but yeah uh, it would help a lot. Anyways guys, hopefully things will get better here. But that's all for now and uh, I'll.
I probably pick up, I finish off the vlog some part here coming up. So, uh, thank you, and uh, until then. What's up, guys? My day has been a piece of trash today. <laughs> no, uh, she wanted me to say that, but it's been true. And I'm just gonna go over this real quick. Uh, we went out trying to find various places because we're trying to buy a car. We need cash to do that. Western Union was having so many issues as usual, doesn't ever work, constant glitches, and so much data at once of every little detail of why you're getting money, how you're getting the money, what you're doing, a complete dictatorship here. I think it's been worse in the UK than back in Brazil for this. And I went into the store walking so many miles, so many kilometers and miles, just no food at all today until just a little bit ago. Finally prepared some food and cooked and had some tacos. I have to cook on top of all his work and having issues. And walked into the store, I was like, hey, can I use my credit card to like send money to myself? Like, I looked and apparently I can. I can do that. But the store, there's two girls there and one was telling me, like, both looking at me like I'm weird, like, um, no, that, that's like fraud, like you're scam, like no, it's fraudulent, it's illegal, you, you know, you can't do that, you know, and their English is like so bit weird, I think they're from like the Middle East more, or maybe, in India more, I don't know, they're just completely being rude like hell with me, I don't know if they even threaten, I call the cops on me, and I'm just like, okay, I have my passport with my name, my driver's license with my name, my credit card with my name, all in my name, and I'm scamming myself by trying to send money to myself. I looked and they am able to do this online. There's no restrictions against this. I have never heard of anything about this before. And if there is something like that, it's news to me. No one's ever told me about that before in my life. Anyway, that should not be illegal considering you have to pay 50 something dollars for a credit card fee on there to do that. Like they're getting money either way. Like what the hell? Like people can use a credit card to send you money. Why can't you do that yourself? Doesn't make sense. Anyways. Pizzas of trash, being horrible. None of the ATMs work here. Need a password for all that. Apparently, maybe I can go into like a random ass bank and do this and get money pulled out. So much walking, so many issues. Dogs having issues here. They didn't tell me about Chihuahua having issues and everything with like sneezing and random attacks. We thought we were choking, we were panicking, coming back from a long walk. And just trying to do all this to get a car. It's, it's, I, really, you'd have to go through this to fully understand what I'm saying. Because my explaining is like 1% of how things actually were. It's been such a nightmare today. Going and walking to so many stores. Think about even asking people about maybe, hey, can I pay for your, your car and stuff? And you just give me cash if you're going to pay with cash. Like, yeah, not doing that because they're just so incompetent here. Things are so expensive. Like over 10 pounds for a can of, of compressed air. And... It's, it's just been absurd, like how expensive things are in general. Try to get packaged with AirPods. Uh, so we took the tag there because they don't put the actual product there. And she's like, too oh. expensive. Yeah, too expensive, apparently. 20 pounds each. They were like, oh, someone's going to see this. So took it and took both up. Asked them, what's the difference between this and the, without a jack and all that? And she's like, oh, I, I actually don't know. I, wait, we don't have any of this. I'm checking here. Like she's going in there. Like she took way more time than that, by the way. Really, like, People in these first world countries are extremely dumb at their jobs and don't know what they're doing. Please, AI, <laughs> please, AI, replace all these people's jobs because it's just absurd. Anyways, I've been talking to this other guy for like just trying to get the uh, car. He was offering me 800 pounds, over a thousand dollars. He's got an oil leak, braking issues where they can fail, and I think tire issues as well. And it's like you can check the MOT in the UK, show its inspection. Apparently, it's will be like something, something you have to do here. And I was showing that, that never tell you that. So I checked that out myself. Just all these people, so many people are assholes here. And it looked like a third world country when I was going down here. Looked literally worse than Brazil. A bunch of parts of Brazil look better than that. That's absurd. The UK, I really feel like they're, they're, they have stores that are interesting, but their stores maybe have more food poisoning than Brazil in a lot of ways, I feel like, from what I saw. It's absurd, and restaurants, sure as hell, absolutely as well. Maybe the south of Brazil is still worse than this, but I'm in shock. It's like no wonder a lot of countries are having more issues with the UK and not wanting people to get in, even. I saw that more in more governments, and that's, that's just crazy. It's, it's absurd how bad this country is in so many ways, absolutely. You can tell, like, I don't look the best, obviously, because 
I finally just had my first meal. It's like 9 p.m. now, roughly, I think, right? Hmm? 9 p.m.? What time is it? Um, 10.06. 10, oh, yeah, I yeah, just had a first meal recently. Just like in the last hour. Wow. And if you're dehydrated walking, I mean kilometers and miles. Truly, walking so long on a concrete and just going from place to place, trying to find an ATM, trying to figure out some way to park cash and no, still no way. So, uh, and if I want a cheaper vehicle, he's offering me for a thousand dollars, I have to use uh, cash as well. So again, I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try some other person, some other company. People were banning her, by the way, got her Facebook and Instagram taken down. Calling her a scammer because she's just asking, hey, did any of you accept credit cards? Like, in Brazil, it's just common. It's so easy to have that. People got her banned and are all like, trying to gang up on her because of the way she looks. Color, something like that, I guess. I don't know. I, it just like looks like she's a scammer to them somehow for just asking that. It's funny because you could use a credit card going to the store and there's no problem with that. Credit card means scam? How? You're paying with a credit card. That's absolutely not a scam to me. I wouldn't think that someone's saying that. So there's a lot of the most rude people I've ever seen in my life are in the United Kingdom. And like someone was saying on, uh, I think Instagram was it, he's from here and he said, if you're under like 35 or so, get the hell out of this country. And TikTok. It has fallen so far in this country, it's horrible. And he's like, half the people are going to go up and go kiss the king's ass and, and just go do uh, everything he wants and follows him. And just this horrible cycle where everyone's miserable in the country at their job. And they're happy for a short time in the summer and they forget about their problems and they go back in a miserable winter again. Everybody blames the weather, but it's actually all the miserable jobs, how they barely have any money to live on paycheck to paycheck, and they go blow what little money they have left on the weekend on booze and alcohol and all that. And they, they're just miserable living like this horribly. And there's a guy I was watching who said all of this and said, if you have the ability to get out and leave, go explore other countries, there are plenty of better countries. And I completely agree with this. From what I saw, I think, I think France could be better, right? Depends on where you go, but definitely a lot of areas were better than here when traveling. Uh, I didn't travel through France, but I just know they have good farms and stuff. Even Poland had some interesting areas here and there that uh, were quite nice. And what people like, oh, go, go to Bath by Bristol. And it's like, I looked it up on Google Maps, like just some, Basic buildings again doesn't look so great. It, it's a nightmare, truly. This country is a major letdown, and I am personally not going to consider this a first world country. It just doesn't have the things it should have. There are some first world parts, but mostly second world for me and third world. But would you agree? It's about second, third world here, depending on where you go. Yeah. Very rare to find first world. Maybe some of the markets would be more first world, but still not in the uh, the level of Walmart, obviously. That's roughly how it's been. There's probably more I'm forgetting to talk about, but it's just been pure hell, and I want to go relax and try to search for a car again, find some way to do this. I'm going to get a car. I have to have this. I need something for transport, and my family's being an asshole to me. I'm not understanding what I'm going through, how much work I'm going through. Just saying, oh, it's easy. Just going pet sitting, doing what you're doing. Like, no. I just had a dog that could have been having major issues, making us panic. There's so many issues. Cat keeps pissing and and freaking leaving feces everywhere. Had to clean a litter box, almost made us pass out smelling so bad because the cat's renal issues, kidneys, and uh, it's just so horrible. And they weren't cleaning the litter box properly, they just take out like the wet crap, like it absorbs all the odors. You're supposed to clean all the litter out once in a while to get new, fresh litter. Now it doesn't smell at all downstairs, even with some of the, the freaking piss and feces on the floor we, sitting, or we cleaned up earlier. And these people just don't get it apparently, but Anyways, looks like I told them about stuff like, okay, like, all right, so, ah, uh, yeah, it, it's just been a nightmare. This video is going to be probably 40 minutes, so I'm going to let it go here. Thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully coming up, we're going to get a car. I can record that, show you what's going on here. Thank you so much. Please let me know what you thought about all this in the comments below, and if you also have experience with people in the United Kingdom being an asshole, because I've had experience with that and people trying to like just be it's so weird i saw people be so violent here knife fights and it's obviously like they have mental issues and that guy wanted to like steal you right like wanted to like have something romantic with you it's like weird remember you talked to a guy from here from the uk oh yeah he went to a rock bike 
Yeah, exactly. What I'm saying from his mom abusing him, and he wanted to like, kind of like, take you from me as well. Like, yeah, so yeah, it's... it's awkward and weird. People are just really crazy and, and cringe here. Like, so many people. Like, every time I'm talking to people, if you felt the same thing, every time we talk to people, it just was like asshole alert. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, why can't you just be less of an asshole? Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next vlog coming up. I hope I can get back to editing these and posting these. I still never posted my first video. Oh my god. Okay. I will see you in the next one. And until then.